Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do October readings for all the zodiac signs. Yes, these are general readings. Take to applies if it applies. You know what to do with the rest. And a big thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock. And if you would like a personal reading with me, all that info is in the description box below. This reading is going to be for Sagittarius. So let's see what's going on with this Sag in October 2022. Sagittarius in October. Hmm. We've got the Hermit in reverse. Now the Hermit is a seeker of knowledge. Sometimes it means isolation and seclusion. But in the reverse, it could be coming out of an isolated, you know, uh, state. Or coming out with what you know. Because a hermit, you know, people, you know, seek him out because he is very knowledgeable. I always call him the uh, Sherlock Holmes out of the deck because, you know, he doesn't rely on everybody else to find out what he needs to find out. He finds it out for himself. That way he knows it to be true, Satch. Now we have the King of Pentacles. This is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy, or somebody who's very Earth-like. You know, they're methodical, practical, good with their coin, very approachable. And this is somebody who's a realist. They're not going to, you know, sell you the Brooklyn Bridge. They're going to tell you something honestly and realistically as they can. Sad, you might be, you know, on a, a Sag Capricorn cusp or have Earth in your chart. And now we have the Seven of Pentacles. By the way, I'm using the Steampunk Tarot, if anyone wanted to know. The Seven of Pentacles is about giving something your all. And then when you step back from it, like this guy is stepping back from the Pentacles, you have to ask yourself, Sag, is something worth doing? Am I getting out of it what I put into it? Is it a wise investment? And this could be the energy coming from you, the energy coming towards you, the energy of somebody else you might be dealing with. If you are dealing with someone else, friendship, partnership, love, ship, career, family, however it applies. So this could also be, you know, coming out with some knowledge or receiving some knowledge that someone knows and having a realistic look at it as if something's worth doing. Mm. Now you have the Knight of Swords here, the fast communicator. So this is something that comes in quickly. A message of some sort. It's for Sag in October. Ah. We have the Three of Cups, but in reverse. Now, in the upright, this would be, you know, a gathering of some sort. Rejoicing or reuniting a celebratory card. In the reverse, this is declining. Declining an invitation. You know, even if... It was just a gathering of friends, a wedding, whatever it is. So here comes this communication. And you're thinking, Sag, that maybe are you invested in this friendship, partnership, whatever it is. This is not going. Bottom of the deck. You get the four of pentacles. Here's the miser card. But it's also a card of somebody staying silent, not speaking or voicing their opinion, Sag. Hmm. So let's get some clarifiers here. It seems to me, Sag, like some info comes your way. And keeping a, you know, a realistic outlook on something, you're weighing something up. Like something's worth going to. Because here comes this quick communication. And then there's a decline. Maybe it's a certain person that, you know, will be at this gathering of some sort. You just don't want to deal with them. Maybe just the whole gathering itself. You know, it's not your cup of tea, so you decline. Something like that. But then staying silent. Sad, maybe you don't even respond to the invite at all. You're just a no-show. Hmm. It could be because there's information that comes in. So let's put the Hermit in reverse. Hermit in reverse. Wise counsel. Hmm. So somebody who knows something. 
it's good advice. Could be a loyal friend, a loyal partner, loyal family member, however it applies. Somebody I believe that has your best interest in mind. Male rider, which is male messenger. Hmm. So again, the fastest communicator being right here, Sag. Coming in, and this is somebody, you know, who's not saying something just because they're spiteful or just because, you know, they don't want you to go. They're being loyal and true to you, a true friend. And they're giving you wise counsel if they, about this information that comes in that they find to be true. Hmm. Now, what's with the king of pentacles? So, clarifying the king of pentacles. Why is King of Pentacles here for Sagittarius? Hmm. You've got the woman of the house or the empress. The sun card, which is most positive of all. So, the empress is admired for her kindness. And this is a positive thing, so... Maybe this is a person, king, queen, doesn't matter, it's an energy, that, um, that is either throwing the party, someone that is, you know, a positive influence on you of some sort. We have the fortress. And this one wanted to come out. Ah, the female rider, the female messenger. So here is this, uh, person that maybe gave you the invitation. Or wanted you to go, or wanted you maybe even to go with them. Hmm. Interesting. And the sun being there, it's a positive thing. This could be somebody asking you, Sag, you know, to escort them to a certain event. Maybe it's not your event, but somebody else's invite that they want you to go to. And the investment is thinking of, you know, should I go? Shouldn't I go? But what's with this Knight of Swords? This is either a very fast, you know, no. A very fast, uh, well, I've already made plans. Something. It's like, I almost feel like something gets cut off before somebody can even finish their sentence, so to speak. Ah. Uh, Get the fox, sneaky energy, thief like energy, knight of swords. Hmm. You get the love card, good fortune, money could be. And then you get the bear on this communication. So this might be, um, I'm thinking hobnobbing with some elites. This could be maybe somebody else's, you know, upper class. But the fox here about sneaking away from something. Like I said before, Sag, this might not be your cup of tea. You might feel awkward going to some sort of event. You know, um, like, for instance, say that somebody is into art. And they want to go to this gallery, gallery opening or premiere. And it's not your thing. Like I said, only an example. So you decline. And again, like I said, this could be a friendship or a partnership. You know, this trust established here. But whatever this is, Sag, it's just you're not... You're, not your cup of tea. Hmm. You might be telling somebody that you're you're busy working. The staying silent with the eight of pentacles under it. This working diligently, learning a skilled craft or trade. Hmm. Sag, maybe you decide to stay late at work. So you wouldn't be around to go to it. Sad, just be honest. 
with someone, um, if you don't want to go, then don't go. If there's a certain, you know, crowd or even a certain person, you know, at an event that you know they're going to be there and you're not crazy about them, be honest about it. You know, but um, definitely staying silent and just leaving someone hanging is not the way to go. You know, give them the opportunity to maybe take another friend or, you know, family member or something, which they would be interested in taking. But just to be fair, just be fair, Sag. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see you back here real soon. Take care.